What up, y'all? Today, we're gonna be installing some missing uh, tie downs in the Maverick XL here. Um, it looks like Ford didn't wanna install the extra tie downs in the XL version, uh, when the XLT has about twice as many tie down options, but we do not have one right here. So that's what we're doing today, so stay tuned. All right, so like I said in the intro, we're gonna be concentrating on the tie down points in the Ford Maverick. On the Maverick XL trim, there's three tie down points on each side of the Maverick. There's one on the upper front of the bed, one on the lower rear of the bed, and then another one on the tailgate, on the side of the tailgate, which doubles as a bottle opener, they like to say. On the Maverick XLT, they add an additional tie down on the upper rear of the bed, as well as a flat laying D ring on the front of the bed itself. But today, we're just going to be installing the missing upper rear tie down in the picture above. The tie down anchors we're using today, we purchased off Amazon. A lot of other Maverick owners have used these same tie downs. They're the same exact thing that come on the Maverick. I know the listing on Amazon doesn't list the Ford Maverick there, but rest assured, these fit. And I'll leave a link in the description of the same exact ones we purchased just to save you the time of searching for the right ones. All right, so we're at the bed of the Ford Maverick, the XL. And as you can see here, we're missing that top tie down. We have one here, you can barely see since it's kind of dark. Here's the uh, lower tie down, and we're missing a tie down on these holes right here. We also have the tie downs up front there, you can see. No D rings down below. But again, we're gonna be adding some tie downs right there. Going over the parts, and again, all these parts are linked in the description. Uh, first, the tie downs themselves. These are those Amazon tie downs we were talking about earlier. They come in a box here. They also come with some self-tapping um, screws, but those are too small for the holes that Ford has um, put on the bed of the truck, so those will not work. So we had to buy our own M6 size bolts here. Here's what I got here. I got these, I think, from AutoZone, but we got other replacements as well. We got a couple variations. We'll see which ones we're gonna use. Um, and then we need to tap those holes since Ford did not send the truck with those threaded. Um, so we have a six millimeter tap here. I actually had to go purchase this one. Um, we're not gonna use the drill bit, just the tap here. And we have a tap wrench here because we're gonna have to wrench and thread that in. If we look over here at the um, passenger side of the truck, again, we have our lower tie down here and we're missing the tie down up here in these two holes here and if you look in there you can see that it is not threaded so that is why we're using the tap we need to thread those holes and then we'll be able to put those fasteners in and fasten that tie down to the truck all right so first thing we're going to do we need to thread those holes so we're going to take out our tap our six millimeter tap here if you guys can see that and we're going to put it in the tap wrench Now let's secure that in there. Boom, secured. We're ready to tap. Let's tap this truck. So we're ready to tap the holes here. We're gonna tap the top one first. We have our tap here. We wanna make sure we put it in really straight. And once we're in there straight, we're gonna rotate it clockwise. All right, it looks like it's found its groove. And we're just grinding this out and basically threading, threading the hole. All right, looks like we found our groove. And we're gonna put it in pretty far, even though that hole only goes back about a centimeter at least where, the, where it's getting threaded. So we're gonna back it out All right, so if you look in there now, you can barely see, but we have a threaded hole. Now that we've got the hole threaded in here, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of compressed air just to shoot the metal shards out of there. So if you wanna come closer, um, you can see on there, there's a bunch of like metal flakes or whatever. So I'm gonna spray that now. 
All right, should be cleaned out. Now let's see if our bolt fits. So let's give it a test. We have our M6 bolt. Let's see if it twists in there. Woo, like a dream. We're in there. All right, so now we're gonna tap the lower, the lower hole. Same thing, make sure we're in there straight. Find your groove. All right, we're in. That's where it takes your old man strength. I'm waiting. All right, and we're gonna back out again. Give that a spray. And let's confirm that hole works as well. Look at that. All right. So we're good. So now with our tie down, we're going to attach it to the car. I always, I'm a firm believer of Loctite. We're gonna just use the, the weak, the wussy Loctite, it's the blue. Um, it won't give you any trouble getting the bolts out, but I just like to use it on any parts I install just so they don't become loose over time. So we're gonna install a little bit of Loctite to this guy here. Oops, that's a lot of bit of Loctite. We'll clean that up later. <laughs> So first I'm just gonna hand thread these. And you know what, I almost put it on incorrectly. Or what am I doing here? Oh, we want it like this. All right, top one is hand tightened. Heard a lot of people using like impact drills and whatnot to install body bolts and stuff like this. I think that may be a little overkill for something like this. So I'm just, this is a, a hex head fastener. So I'm just gonna use a wrench here and wrench those tight. Look at that, a new fastener on there. So there you have it. We installed the missing tie down on the Maverick XL. Um, we're still missing the D rings on that lay flat on the bed. So we may be doing those in a week or so. So stay tuned for that video, but we're gonna get this um, Maverick flex bed up to par with the XLT soon. So over and out.